before Abraham, I am. Does Jesus claim divinity? As believers in pure monotheism, Muslims believe that God sent many prophets to humanity to convey to them their purpose of life. All these prophets were humans, including Jesus be spared upon him. We believe God is only one, and all the prophets of God were the best of his creation, but were humans, including Jesus be spared upon him. Unfortunately, the original message of Jesus was changed over time by adopting pagan practices and attributing divine characteristics to Jesus peace be upon him. Throughout the Bible, Jesus Christ is recorded to have made many claims regarding God Almighty as being separate entity than him. Like in John 20, 17, where he said, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God, or pointing out that God is higher and greater than him, like in John 14, 28, my Father is greater than I. These statements should be clear enough to demonstrate and prove that Jesus Christ, the Messiah, is no more than a creation of God Almighty. However, Christians often bring few verses that supposedly prove otherwise that Jesus is God Almighty himself, such as John 8.58, what is commonly translated as, Truly, truly, I tell you, Jesus declared, before Abraham was born, I am. And Christians claim that Jesus called himself the same name of what God referred to himself in the book of Exodus 3.14. When he was talking to Moses, he spit upon him. He said, God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to Israelis. I am has sent me to you. These two verses differ vastly from each other in meaning, and Jesus be spit upon him did not claim divinity in this verse. Why? Firstly, Jesus' supposed statement, I am, was documented on paper in Greek as ego emi. Yahweh Almighty statement in Exodus 3 was in Hebrew as ho on. There are two different languages that are far from each other, and the two statements are also not the same. Jesus did not even speak those words in Greek. He spoke them in Aramaic, and we do not have the original text of Jesus' words, according to the Bible on theologians. Secondly, According to strong Greek dictionary, ego means I, but imi means I am, have been, was, and it is used in reference to something that happened in the past. So Jesus was trying to say that he has seen Abraham in the past. The same ego imi in John 3.28 was translated to I have been. Thirdly, in the context of Jesus' word, he was answering a question, and you have seen Abraham, and based on that, it would make perfect sense that he told them he saw Abraham before he was born, rather than I am. Fourthly, the concept of knowing people in the spirit world is nothing new in the Bible, and that's what Jesus based upon him was referring to when he told the Jews that he saw Abraham. The same concept was mentioned in the Old Testament. We read, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations, in the book of Jeremiah. Fifthly, even if Jesus existed before Abraham, does that make him a god? The angels existed before Abraham, yet they are not gods. Sixthly, if Jesus wanted to declare to the Jews that he was Yahweh Almighty, as in Exodus 3, then he would not have hidden himself and slipped away. Let's please think about this. When God Almighty did when he declared himself to be I am what I am, what did he do? He revealed his majesty, glory, and power to Moses. And Moses could hardly stand on his feet from the overwhelming fear that he experienced. But what Jesus based upon him supposedly did when he declared that he is divine by saying I am, what did he do? He hid and ran away from the beating. This is what he did after he supposedly said I am. Do we still fail to see the overwhelming inconsistency here? Lastly, even the Jews, the believers of the Old Testaments, believe the same thing. According to JewsForJudaism.org, they say, Although Jesus actually spoke in Hebrew or Aramaic, not Greek, John recording Jesus' alleged word in Greek, Ego Emi, I am, used by John's Jesus is not the same as Ho On, the being, the one who is. In John 8, 56 to 58, John is exploiting his belief that Jesus had a pre-human existence as an angelic being in heaven. 
John Jesus is proclaiming here that his pre-human existence began before Abraham was born. As Muslims, we believe Jesus was a mighty prophet of God. He was Christ, the anointed. He performed many miracles by the will of God, but yet he was a human. God is one and he had sent Abraham, Jesus, Moses, and Muhammad be there upon them as prophets. If you have a question about Islam, ask a Muslim.